At the moment, we have over 10,000 health workers have been infected with COVID-19. It's really worrying for us and it means that there are certain things that we need to do better. Starting from us as WHO, we need to make sure that we have guidelines that we share with member states. But also member states have an obligation. Do these health workers have the adequate personal protective equipment that they need? The other second issue is health workers could be overloaded. Do they get shifts? Because once health workers are overloaded, you are likely to make a mistake just because you are overloaded. This final bit that I want to appeal to governments and all our development partners. In the continent, on the African continent, we are seeing a lot of asymptomatic transmission. Now, we have to have some high index of suspicion to make sure that we are triaging people very quickly and health workers are completely protected at all, most of the time. As WHO, what we've done so far, we've really disseminated infection prevention and control guidelines. We trained over 50,000 health workers that we thought then would go and train other people in a cascade level training. But member states themselves have a role to play. For example, are the health workers that are working in this environment incentivized to work there? And we appeal to governments really to make sure that all our 